Hey Sun has been sharing crumbs back to back since her last trip to Korea even more than Gwonhee in this latest episode of Hey Gwon CP News. Hi guys and welcome to the latest episode of Hey Sun and Gwonhee CP News. If you're new here, CP means couple news for shippers. Meaning that this content is just for giggles, so don't take it too seriously. There are too many crumbs to unpack guys, so to avoid making this video too long, I have decided to divide it into two parts. So please watch this video till the end, hit the like button if you want more, thank you. So with that out of the way, let's start the video. Last time, we talked about Hyson's adventures in Hong Kong, but she has since visited Korea, had many activities and interviews, and even uploaded more interesting videos on her YouTube channel. <laughs> Same also goes for Guan He who has been sharing a lot from his channel lately. However, when Sun was present in Korea, Gwonhee was surprisingly quiet on Instagram. He was almost inactive lol. Like, who can blame him? When your crush whom you describe as your home and happy place eventually comes to town, it's totally normal to be missing in action from the world so he can focus on his beloved, now that they eventually have the chance to physically spend time together after being apart for so long. And during that period when she was still in town, Guanhi posted this. Do you know who likes taking shots like this and posting it? It's Hey Sun, when she posts about food, she captures the environment, the ambience, it's almost wanting you to feel her mood and not necessarily the people around the food. Compare this to when Guanhi posts about food, it's pretty basic. Even though we didn't get the chance to see what's in the box in Hyson's post, we got to see Guanhi's and it is chicken. They had to eat chicken together since she promised to eat chicken again with beer with Wanik in their review video. She and Wanik talked about how they ordered chicken in paradise. And we all know how Guanhi has a redo of things he missed when he was in Inferno ha ha ha. He even shared a post of him playing the candy game with friends. So yep, it's Guanhi's turn to eat chicken with her and he had to hint us about it lol. Check out his caption on his story, it said camping with ice, wine and chicken. So my guess is that they went camping for Valentine's y'all. Plus these two photos have a lot in common. Yep, everything is similar including the cola, just like they both share love for the color green and mangoes, it seems they both share the same love for this soda as well. And besides the drinks, the vibe of these photos feel the same, as if the pictures were taken by the same person. One was posted recently on Hyson's page, while the first one was posted on Guanhi's IG story, the day before Valentine's Day. The photos are quite similar in style right? Then, on Valentine's Day, Sun posted this photo of herself wearing a heart-shaped locket necklace. She captioned it saying, with its charming heart pendant, the Lloyd Mini Rocket Necklace, which opens and closes, is my delightful Valentine's self-gift. Isn't it lovely? Wow, beautiful. I personally will only wear a locket if I have to place the photo of a loved one that passed away or of a lover who I can't see as often as I'd like in it. Directly wearing this pendant on the skin shows deep connection and affection towards that person and I will be reminded of him whenever I put it on so that he can always be close to my heart, no matter how far away he is. The importance of this locket is not whether she actually bought this for herself or if Guanhi did. The question is whose photo, or hair fragment, or whatever else you can think of will be in it lol. And why is it a heart shape to be worn directly on the skin? Check what Google said about why people buy pendants that open and close. A locket is a pendant that opens to reveal a space used for storing a photograph, or other small items such as a lock of hair. Lockets are usually given to loved ones on holidays such as Valentine's Day and occasions such as christenings, weddings and, most noticeably during the Victorian age, funerals. So, don't bother guessing too hard on why she needed that necklace. It's a very precious item if you ask me, especially when you're in a long-distance relationship. I hope Guanhi has something similar he can subtly show off to us in future so we can see they are twinning lol. Then the same Valentine's Day, 
she updated her stories and posted this photo with the song You Are the Reason by Callum Scott. The lyrics to this song will make you tear up when you consider Hagwon's situation. Callum Scott said when he wrote this song, he came to the realization that every relationship has difficult times but you stick with it because the love you fundamentally feel for the other person overrides everything else. Guys, I am not making this up. It's literally on Google. The best part about this song for me was the ending when it said. I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to hide no more. I don't want to cry no more. Come back, I need you to hold me. You are the reason. A little closer now, just a little closer now. Come a little closer, I need you to hold me tonight. Like what the heck guys, Hey Sun is a hopeless romantic and I can't wait to share part 2 with you. If you want part 2, please like this video, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. Bye.